you probably already know that we can find the equation of a line from two points on the line, but that's not the only way to do it. We can also determine the equation of a line from a point on the line and the slope of the line. Using that information, we can write what's called the point-slope form equation of the line. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be seeing where the point-slope form comes from. So, if you're not at all familiar with it and you want to be introduced, or if you're a little familiar with it, but you're not sure where it comes from. Either way, I think this lesson will serve you well, so let's get right into it. Now, it shouldn't seem too wild to think that we can find the equation of a line from a single point and the slope of the line. If you just think about it, maybe we're given a point on the line and it looks something like that. And perhaps we're given that the slope of the line is three. Recall that slope is rise over run, so it's often helpful to write the slope as a fraction. We might write three as three over one. So this tells us if the if we go forward one unit, that's the run, then we must go up vertical change, the rise, we must go up three units in order to stay on the line. So using this point and the slope, we could plot as many points on the line as we please and then draw the line. For example, we could go forward one and then up three units. That would be a point on the line. Or we could go backwards. We could go left one and then down three units. And that's another point on the line. We could do that as many times as we please and then draw our line. It's a little bit badly drawn, but you get the point. So certainly, given a point and the slope, we can draw a line, and so we should be able to find the equation of the line as well, and indeed we can. We'll see how with this general example. So here we've got our xy plane, and we're given this arbitrary orange line that has a given point of AB. That's just some point on the line. We're also given that the slope of the line is m. In order to write an equation for this line, we need an equation that will tell us how the coordinates of any point on the line must relate to each other. So let's just draw an arbitrary point on the line. We'll call it x, y. Assuming that this is different from this point, how do we know these two points must relate? Well, since they both lie on a line that has a slope of m, the slope between these two points must be m, because the slope between any two points on a single line is always the same. So how do we find the slope between these two points? Well, you might know a formula for it, but even if you don't, we can reason it out pretty easily. Again, remember that slope is rise over run. So let's start with the rise. What is the rise or the vertical change from this point to this point? Well, we start at a vertical position of B, we end up at a vertical position of Y. So the total change is Y minus B. That's the difference between the vertical positions, Y minus B. In this particular drawing, it looks like y is a greater number than b, but this will work out either way. It doesn't matter if y is bigger than b or smaller than b. So that's our numerator. That's the rise. In the denominator, we want the run. That's the horizontal change between the two points when we're trying to calculate slope. So what's the horizontal change from this point to this point? Well, we start at a horizontal position of A, we end up at a horizontal position of X. So the horizontal change is the difference between the two, which is X minus A. X minus A. So this is the slope between the two points. So what must it be equal to? Well, since they're on a line with slope M, this must be equal to M. This must be the slope of the line. So now this equation right here describes every single point on this line except for the given point AB. Because if we try to plug that point into this equation, we're gonna get A minus A in the denominator, which is zero, so that would be a problem. The reason that doesn't work is that this is an expression for the slope between a point on the line and AB. If we plug in AB, that's the slope between AB and itself, which doesn't really make any sense, which is why it doesn't work. But of course, we can get rid of that division by zero problem at this point if we get rid of this division. We could do that by multiplying both sides by this denominator, x minus a. 
So, taking some deep breaths here, we multiply both sides of the equation by x minus a. Bam, bam. They cancel out. What do we got left? We've got the slope m times x minus a is equal to the numerator that we have left on the right side, y minus b. And then we might just like to write this like this with the y minus b side on the left. So y minus b is equal to the given slope m multiplied by x minus the x-coordinate a of the given point. This is point-slope form. This is the point-slope form equation of an arbitrary line that goes through a point a, b and has a slope of m. Round of applause. So this is where the point-slope form equation of a line comes from. This is the point-slope form equation. So this means if a line passes through a point AB and has a slope of M, then any other point X, Y on the line will satisfy this equation. And if any pair of coordinates X and Y satisfy this equation, the point they describe must be on the line. So let's see an actual example just to drive the point home. Guess we'll write in green. Let's say that we are given the, uh, let's say a point on the line, we're given a point on the line, is 2, negative 4. That's a point on our line. And let's say we're given that the slope of our line is 3. Then, just with this information, we can immediately write an equation for the line using point-slope form. So the equation of the line is going to be y minus the y-coordinate of the given point, which is negative 4. So y minus negative 4 is equal to the given slope m, which is 3, multiplied by x minus the x-coordinate of the given point, which is 2. I pointed at negative 4, I meant 2. It's x minus 2. Beautiful. And th there it is. That's our point-slope form equation of the line. Just like that, I went to snap, but I didn't hit it. Just like that, we've got our equation. If we wanted to, we could rewrite y minus negative 4 as y plus 4, since subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So y plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 2. So just like that, we've got our point-slope form equation of the line. Beautiful. And if you wanted to, you could work with this equation just a little bit to get it into a more familiar form, slope-intercept form. If we distribute the 3, then we would have that y plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 6. Then we could subtract 4 from both sides to get our slope-intercept form equation that y is equal to 3x minus 10. Beautiful. So that's where point-slope form for a line comes from. And you, you see, it's, it's super cool. If we just got a point in the slope, bam, just like that, we can write our equation of the line, which if we want, we can easily turn into slope-intercept form, which we all really like. And that's it. So I hope this video helped you understand where the point-slope form equation of a line comes from. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I'm gonna go drink some water because I'm losing my voice.